The resistor, probably one of the most common components used in any DIY electronics project. But what are resistors and what do they do? In the most basic terms, a resistor is part of an electrical circuit that resists the flow of current. Now you can think of it as a water pipe that resists the amount of water going through it. Ohm's law describes the behavior of resistors. For example, here I is the current through the conductor in a unit of amperes. V is the potential difference measured across the conductor in units of volts. And R is the resistance of the conductor in units of ohms. And the purpose is basically just to control the amount of current and voltage and convert one to another. Best example would be using an LED. Too much current through an LED can destroy it or actually shorten its lifespan. So you want to put a resistor in series with the LED just to dissipate some unwanted energy. LEDs usually operate on 2 to 4 volts. But if you're using, let's say, a 9 volt battery, you're going to need to reduce that current going to the LED. Now you can go through a couple of different calculations using Ohm's law to figure out exactly which resistor you need, but to be honest, for this example with an LED, there's quite a few resistor calculators online where you just input the number of LEDs, the voltage across, how much voltage you're putting into the circuit, and it'll tell you what resistor you need. There's a couple of different types of resistors. One is carbon film. Now this is the most common resistor that you'll find. They're very reliable and inexpensive, and they're typically 5% tolerance. That's the give or take in the amount of resistance. And there's metal film. Now there's less noise in these, better temperature stability, they're a little bit more expensive, and they usually have about a 1% tolerance. So what is this tolerance? Well, in a 5% tolerance resistor, you'll never really find the resistance it claims. For example, a resistor of 50 ohms, once it's manufactured, may only be 18 ohms or could be 400 ohms, and they'll be tossed. But some are 48, some are 53, and so they're sold as 50 ohm, 5% tolerance. Again, the metal film resistors have a lower tolerance so the ohm rating will be closer to what they're packaged as. In most cases, a 5% tolerance is fine for all DIY projects. Next up is the wattage. Now this signifies the power they can accept. Quarter watt is good for most projects. This is basically the power rating and it indicates how much power a resistor can handle before it becomes too hot and burns up. The power is measured in units called watts. You can find resistors that are rated for half watt or even one watt, but they're rarely needed in the hobbyist types of electronic projects. Unfortunately, there's no way to determine the wattage of the resistor other than the packaging. And that brings us to the color bands and explaining what they are. The color bands are the way to determine what ohm rating and tolerance a resistor has. For example, in this top resistor with four bands, the first band is yellow, which is four. The second band is purple, which is seven. The third digit is the multiplier. In this case, it's orange, so that's a thousand, which makes this a 47,000 or 47K ohm resistor. And the last band is the tolerance. Again, there's a ton of resistor calculators on the internet where you just plug in the color codes and it'll tell you what the rating is of the resistor. Resistors, like most components, can be used in series. That's where you'd combine several resistors with standard values to reach a specific resistance value. Or parallel, where the voltage across the resistors is the same for each resistor. Now this video is not intended to be exhaustive all about resistors, because when it comes to fixed resistors, there's wire wound, foil, grid resistors, and there's also variable resistors and pull-up resistors. There are a bunch of different components that perform the same function as the lowly old resistor that we'll be using in most of our projects. So I hope this video helped you understand what a resistor is and how to identify them. If you missed any of my other KipK tips, click the end cards on the screen to check those videos out. More KipK tips next week. Thanks for watching.